Good morning, Emily. This is an exciting time for you, isn't it? I am so excited, Christine. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I can't believe it's only 44 days. I know, it's coming very quickly. It's around quickly. the corner. So what is, what's been going on with this supposed stag do? There's reports that Meghan has gone back to, to America. What is, what is the scoop? The situation. Well, I got very excited because I discovered that Harry and Meghan had spent the Easter weekend apart. We saw Kate and William, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge at um, Windsor Castle with the Queen, the Easter Sunday service. But Harry went and spent the weekend decay with his some of his male friends. And I got very excited thinking perhaps this was the stag do. <laughs> but no, I can reveal it wasn't. It was a false alarm. And actually he was just spending the weekend with friends. But the stag do is still to come. And I expect that one of his best friends, Tom Skippy, in Skip will be um, the main instigator and organiser of the stag do. He, Harry and Meghan went to his wedding last year in Jamaica. She wore that lovely Erdem floral maxi dress. But I don't expect to have a repeat of Prince Harry naked in Vegas. I wow. think it's going to be a very sedate affair. I think he probably learned his lesson after that trip, didn't he? <laughs> I think he did, absolutely. He is a changed man. I think Meghan has really kind of... Um, encouraged him to perhaps grow up. It's not just Meghan. I think he really has changed. And, of course, Prince William had a stag do in a private house in the middle of nowhere and just his close male friends so they could whoop it up in private. And I'm sure Harry will be doing exactly the same. Yes, very wise. Very wise. <laughs> Considering we're all watching. Yes, we don't want any more naked photographs. <laughs> <laughs> not at this point.